Hi everybody, welcome into the Wolfman Gardening Channel. Today, we're going over our seedlings and how to care for seedlings once they reach and start reaching for the, for the sunlight. From now until they get transplanted into their individual pots, there are a few little things that you need to do in order to care for these, in order to keep them from being ruined. All right, a couple of weeks ago we planted and we got them labeled. You can see here, that is tray B and tray A. And we have them labeled on our little cards, like so. All right, but if you'll notice right here, take a look at these edges. See how these are leaning towards the center of the light? These are growing a little taller. And these are leaning towards the light. You can see it better over here on this one here. These here on this side are actually leaning towards this light as well as are these here. And the ones in the center are growing a little bit taller. Now, if you leave them under this light in these grow conditions like this, these on this edge here, these are going to actually get really, really leggy trying to get over to that light. So what we need to do now is we need to change it up and change the lighting conditions for these. All right, if you'll notice right here, I have a different grow light. This is a four foot grow light with a little bit more lumens than the other grow lights. So these here, well, it's actually a little brighter. And as you can see, the little tin that I have up here, the aluminum foil, it re helps reflect some of this light and keeps it all underneath this area here. So with that being said, we will take these planters that we have and we'll stack them on books or whatever we need to to get them a little closer to the light. Now then, notice I have one a little higher than the other one. I'm doing a little bit of an experiment to see which one, whether these will continue to try to grow leggy. If that's not enough light, we'll do the same as this other one and we'll raise it up a little more and get them closer together. So this one right here, it doesn't cast too many shadows. There's a little bit of shadow back here at the back. And there's not as much shadow over here. So trial and error on this to see which one's going to. And we'll have to keep a real close eye on this because we don't want to wait two or three days and then come find out that all these are all laying on their side because they got way too leggy. Another thing you want to do is once these seedlings break through the soil and they are germinated, you want to take them off the heat mats. Heat mats are great if you're putting them on the heat mats or if you didn't start them on the heat mat. But if you start them on the heat mat, you want to make sure you take them off the heat mat and also remove the humidity domes. All right. If you'll notice, this one over here, this was tray B, and all the varieties that we grew are pretty good. The number six here is taking a little bit of time to come up. And if we follow our guide here, we got over here at one, we've got the Mount, um, the Martha Washingtons, the Strawberry Fields, the Camians, the Fireworks, which are doing really good, and the Mountain Princess, which you can see here, I seeded quite a few of those in there. And we'll thin those out in the next day or two. Stay tuned for that video. Six, which is the rows, and they're not germinating as well and as quick, but they are, you can see they are germinating. So, and then we have the mountain, or wait, these are the Manitobas, the green zebra, which I'm really excited about because I've never grown them before, black crim, aromas, and gladiator we didn't go over the gladiator because i didn't have the seeds at the time that i was going to plant these videos and i got them or when i done my seed reveal so i got these at a, a different spot at the local big box store we tried growing these last year and last year they didn't grow very well we didn't get any germination out of them so i wanted to try them again this year to see if it was a seed problem or if it was a me problem and then here on the end we got the chocolate striped tomatoes which another one I'm really excited about growing. All right, over here, this is the tray A. 
and we've got it marked as well. And we have Mr. Stripey going in the first two cells. Our Cherokee Purples in these next two. Abe Lincolns. And the Abe Lincolns look like they're doing really good. We've got the Black Cherry, the Ukraine Purple. And both of these are, these are like the small cherry tomatoes. And these will be about the grape size tomatoes. And then here at the end, we have the Magic Bullets. Okay, now when these seedlings get like this, you want to make sure that they don't get leggy and grossed out. And one way is to, you know, fluctuate the light and make sure the lighting is good. And when they're at this stage here, I also recommend that you only, you cut the, the grow lights back to only 12 hours of light. So I'll put these on a timer to where after 12 hours, they'll have darkness. What we also have is we're going to use some of this water soluble um miracle grow and also this super thrive this comes with some of these seed trays that you buy and this one package is good for one gallon and you just mix it with one gallon of water and it's made for seedlings so you don't have to dilute this super thrive now if you buy the super thrive in its regular concentration you will have to dilute it for the seedlings but this specific one is made for seedlings so we're not going to uh, dilute this we're not going to dilute it any more than it needs to be and it says on the package here that this one package will mix with one gallon of water and when you're going to bottom water these and you just pull this little thing out here and you'll pour some of that down in there i've already done it so i don't want to add more fertilizer and i do recommend that you don't Fertilize the or fertilize these every watering. They don't need they don't need fertilizer every every watering. It's just like when they're out in the in the soil in your garden. You're not going to fertilize every time you water. So I would say about once every week and a half or so to add a little bit of fertilizer until these come up or start going good. And like I said, in a two or three days, once these start getting their true leaves coming in, we are going to transplant. And we're going to separate these out into their own individual little cells. That way, they're not fighting each other for the nutrients or fighting each other for the space. Another thing you want is, now that they're this high here, what we're going to do is we're going to put an oscillating fan on these. That way, they're slowly going to move them back. It's going to help build and strengthen these uh, stems. So. You want to oscillate the fan just like it would be in regular windy conditions and it'll help strengthen these up a little bit and there you have it there's your three things you need to take care of your seedlings the right lighting conditions don't let those things stretch out and and look for that light secondly put an oscillating fan on them you you want to make sure that the strengthen those stems up and lastly don't forget to feed them fertilize Make sure you take care of those seedlings and they'll take care of you at a later date, right? <laughs> and like, subscribe, share this video. And in a couple of days, we're going to show you how to separate those seedlings in their own individual pots so we can have plenty more. And like always, keep it growing.